Walking through the front doors of Naples Hospital can bring a bit of a surprise. Colorful artwork decks the lobby and hallway walls. Soft, soothing music fills the air, courtesy of an amiable guitarist who interacts good-naturedly with passers-by. It all suggests that perhaps this hospital is dedicated not just to medicine, but to all aspects of healing. And that's precisely the point of NCH Healthcare System's Arts in Healing program. Implemented by coordinator Beth Schroeder, her assistant Kelly Cram, okay. and a host of volunteers, the program aims to ease the stress of medical problems by giving patients and families an outlet through the arts. We saw how each one of these arts were really of benefit to the patients. It gave them normalcy, it gave them a little bit of diversion, um, uh, some fun. They stopped being a patient, they started being a whole person. That's what we're trying to address, is that this may be happening to you. This is a tough thing to get over, but you're also a person who still has creativity. You still have an alive mind. The visual arts portion of the program provides regularly scheduled classes for patients, often those who are going through occupational therapy. The patients can work on a variety of different projects, including painting on silks, and creating colorful vases, birdhouses, and masks. Cancer patients benefit from beautiful silk scarves that, when finished, can be worn to cover the hair loss that accompanies chemotherapy. We have a whole toolbox of materials, and many people have never tried to do anything at all, so we try to find something that matches up with them and maybe teach them something, too. Staff members frequently work right along with the patients. That's something Schroeder encourages, since the act of creating can be a helpful outlet for them as well. We try to meet the needs of the staff and relieve some of their uh, stress. They're under tremendous stress trying to do the best they can. Their personalities are such that they chose these professions. They're caregivers and their hearts are there for people. And so it, sometimes it's kind of tough to always meet that and be cheerful and to start the next day. When patients aren't feeling up to attending a class, but still want to work on an art project, volunteers will bring the art cart to their rooms. Hi, Pat. One of the most popular projects is the painting of ceiling tiles. Patients can create their own design or select one from a book of patterns. If desired, the art volunteer will draw the pattern on the tile for the patient to paint. So now we're gonna highlight Barney a little bit. When completed, the tiles are placed in the ceiling on the unit where they were created. Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm sure. What's ingenious about the ceiling to me is when you take the arts and healing from the view of the patient, they're laying down. We're walking around, so our perspective of our life at that particular time is different. They're looking up. It's almost like a greeting card. Creating a tile can change a sick room to a playroom, as Schroeder discovered when she worked with youngsters who were visiting their sick mother. Makes you smile, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mom wasn't really well enough to do anything much, but everybody took their hand and was able to make a mark, a handprint on the tile. And so the kids went away with this great story and everyone really uh, it uplifted the whole room. That same change in mood can occur through music. Ray Griggs has volunteered to play his guitar at the hospital since 2001 and has witnessed what his music can accomplish. Generally, I play up in the um, family waiting room where people are waiting to go into surgery or families are waiting for family members to come out of surgery. So people are under a lot of stress. So the music kind of you know helps relax them. You can watch a physical reaction come over them. They'll be sitting there tense or, you know, like rolling a paper or something. And when you start to play after a few songs, you, know, you can see them relax. At the opposite end of the spectrum from the mellow music are the clowns, volunteers whose sole purpose is fun. I know you're a manly man and you can handle it. Sheila Frazier, also known as Giggles, joined the program for a very simple reason. Well, I read an article in the North Naples Journal and I thought, what a wonderful program. And I had some extra time and I always have lots of joy. And that's what we do at the hospital is go around spreading joy to the patients and the staff. 
when the hospital hosts one of its informal happy hours for patients, family, and staff, the clowns are sure to show up, spreading good cheer, clown hugs, and lots of silly jokes. Do you know what you call a pig that knows karate? Karate pig. Pork chop. <laughs> the clowns always work in teams of two, providing a double dose of merriment. Giggle's partner is Sonny McCown, AKA Dr. McClown. My buddy, Dr. McClown. Very wise of you. Very. And like any good doctor, McClown has the all important little black bag. But we've got the uh, bail money uh, when we get in trouble. Uh, this is what I use to <coughs> catch a cold. I have this to check it out. We have this for blood pressure. This is fun. Watch this. See, I didn't do very well in medical school, so I have to kind of do this on the sideline. And this is because nurses call the shots. And I think you saw these before. These are my Dr. Goff glasses. Like all the arts and healing volunteers, the clowns feel they benefit every bit as much as the patients and families they're trying to cheer. When you're giving, you're getting so much more back than what you're giving. And that's what I love about it. Even if it's a moment of sunshine that I can bring that person that might not otherwise have had that that day, that's what I like about it. That's a sentiment Beth Schroeder also shares. And it's one that rests at the heart of the Arts and Healing program. I see my art form as my life. And whether I'm in the studio or whether I'm interacting with a person, it's a form of transformation. When I see that happen and using my art as a form of transformation, like bringing a person from feeling pain to feeling less pain, that is real art. The purpose of the Arts and Healing program is not to create an extraordinary painting or memorable song. The art itself is the journey, a journey to wholeness. And the real masterpieces are the volunteers who play, craft, assist, and bring a smile.